we have here not very many shards because the damage that was done was done in World War I, not in World War II. We entered almost unopposed into the city of Verdun. Only the bridges had been blown. <clears throat> I did find some shards from the, this earlier war, war, both from the Catholic cathedral in the town and from the poor little, mean little Protestant church and from the Jewish synagogue. I don't know whether the Jewish synagogue, it may have been wrecked by the Germans in their effort to obliterate everything that was Jewish. But I did find these three little shards and because in the American army, we all worked happily together, I thought it would be nice to, to have them together. Yes. Hey, hold one second, Anna. Can you take that bag and move it away from me? Mm -hmm. So basically on, the, on that piece, there is three shards. There is a story which tells us about three different temples. So it's kind of, there is kind of synchronicity there, three pieces and three different uh, temples and churches. Yes. And so also Verdun, like you mentioned, is all about World War I as start. So the idea is rep about repetition of this story. Yes, yes. And in your story, you mentioned also the idea of a church char, you know. So there is a reference to char. char sorry, it's hard for me to say it. Chores, like music. Um, Choir. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Okay, so yes. Why, don't you pick, why don't you pick up again, sir? Also, you were mentioning, she started at the yeah. top of that. And also, you, you were mentioning um, a story about the co call. Choir. Choir. I'm sorry. Choir, okay, yes. We're going to do it Choir. one more time now. Choir. Choir. So, start at the yes. top of the sentence. Go mm -hmm. ahead. And you were mentioning also something about choirs. Yes. We had a little Protestant church choir led by our Red Cross officer. And we have a picture of that, um, Armel, should you want to, want to use it. Um, the, um, uh, the, the Jewish um, uh, synagogue, happily in our psychological warfare department of General Bradley's headquarters, we had a bright young Jewish officer named Jaffe, and he sort of led the, the Jewish group, and he was most helpful. He, um, he, he got a group of soldiers together to, to spruce up the synagogue and freshen it up and it was used regularly by our Jewish soldiers during the time that we were in Verdun, mm -hmm. which was for about half a year. Indeed. Uh, okay, okay, so, are, okay, right now we're going to go back to your describing. Yeah, okay. and I'm sorry, I, I went no, no, out no, no, of no, it no, no, because no, 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 I, okay. I needed to. But it was an interesting story of the... Just keep saying the name of the panel. Like, yeah. Say at Verdun. At Verdun, we have a different like events and the story talk about the three temple and the, the story of music also so i kind of decide to do that musical partition like of notes but if you are a musician which i'm not you don't understand you can't play those notes really it, it doesn't mean anything and that means to me that War doesn't mean anything. The bottom line is that in a way it just means destruction. So that's why that, that those notes don't mean anything for a musician to play. But I also use the sign of repetition so you can repeat and repeat those notes which oh, don't mean I anything. See, yes. Because in Verdun, actually, yes. we had a repetition of stories. The war it twice, you know, it's those kind of places. Can yes. You, can you say, instead of the three temples, can you say, the three, what would be a general term for church, temple? Yeah, um, just three. The three places of worship. Religious sites? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the three, the three, there are three uh, places of worship. Yes. Why would you say that? Mm -hmm. Three say 
religious edifices or, or religious uh, shrines, you might say. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in this story, we make a reference to three different religious sites. Yes. Um, there is three shards and um, should I repeat myself? I probably explain enough now. Oh. I'm just trying to make you make sense because I'm uh, thinking yeah, about how to edit it's you. Yeah, it's hard for me because it's... I, no, 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 I know uh, it's hard and I, it's I, okay if you repeat it twice. I think it's nice to bring in the note of ecumenicity here. Uh, one Catholic... Fred, okay, so, so let's... Why don't you talk about the... So again, what's yeah. the name of the place? Verdun. Okay, so let, yeah. let's let him... Verdun, okay, go yeah. ahead. At Verdun. At Verdun, this great fortress city, um, which had been subjected to so many wars from the days when the Huns in about the fifth century first invaded France to our own time. Here we have nonetheless a sense of the ecumen of ecumenicity of harmony between three faiths. There's one shard representing the Catholic cathedral, another representing this little obscure Protestant minority, the third representing a Jewish synagogue, all happily placed by you, Armel, in this nice, nice um, um, arrangement uh, of the notes using the musical symbol, which means they can be repeated over and over again. How sad it is that war has been so much a part of mankind that in this town of Verdun, we see it happening again and again and again. 